Author Elizabeth Peavy and illustrator Marguerite Robichaud have written Glorious Slow Going, a book detailing their adventures through the woods and towns of Maine. Tom talked with Peavy about the book at a recent brown bag lunch at the Portland Public Library. Elizabeth, thanks for joining us. Nice to be here, thanks. Yes, and it's great for us to fit this in right just before you talk about Glorious Slow Going. Can you tell us a little bit about what inspired you to have these adventures and write about them? Well, uh, Marguerite and I have been friends for um, better than 15 years, and the nature of our work, she's an artist, I'm a freelance writer, so our work sort of comes in concentrated chunks, and then there's recovery periods, so to speak, afterwards, which allowed us to have free time to go basically goof off. And she lives up in the north woods of Maine, and I live down here in Portland. Um, and we would use her home up in the woods as a, as a base, and we would just go out and have adventures. One day we decided, wouldn't this make a great story? And it kind of evolved from there. So what was the first great adventure that you decided, to, this, we, we're going to do this and we're going to write about it? Well, she um, accompanied me on assignment for Down East. I was doing a story about a little town called Northeast Cary, which is the um, smallest town in Maine, population two. It's at the head of Moosehead Lake. And my husband couldn't join me, and she sort of put her hand up in the air and said, I'll come. And we had such a great time, and she asked, well, who, how is this being illustrated? And I said, oh, they'll send a photographer up afterwards. And she said, I'm here. I could do illustrations. So being the light bulb went off, and when I got home, we came up with a couple ideas and pitched them to my editor, and he bit. Did you have a lot of adventures and pick the best nine, or did you choose these nine as you went along? We have a lot of adventures. <laughs> um, when we actually um, went out to document, we were on assignment. Um, we, we always carry our tools of the trade with us. Marguerite goes everywhere. She has a, a picnic backpack um, that usually have forks and pans and plates in them, but she's put in you know, sketchbooks and cameras and pencils that she carries everywhere with her. And I always, as I like to say, never go anywhere without my pencil. Uh, so we, we document when we're out, but when you're doing something, you know, as, as concentrated as this, no, we were on assignment. So it wasn't, a, oh, let's go home and write about that and paint about that. It was, it, we were out there collecting information. And what, what are some of the favorite stories or most memorable experiences that you've had? That They're through? all fun, but the greatest, the greatest hit um, was our first one. And that was uh, three nights and four days in a yurt at Moose, Moosehead Lake in February. And the temperatures got down to about 20 or 30 below at some points. They were up in the 30s at some point, and we were out five miles from the main lodge, snowshoeing around, eating crawfish etouffee, drinking martinis out of stemware. We, when we go to the woods, we rough it with style, we like to say. So uh, that was the first one we published, and people still talk about it to this day. Now, do they all involve the main woods, or do you get into the towns and meet the people? We do uh, a little bit of, of urban things, um, but mostly we, we like to go stomp around the woods, look at birds, and just be out there. Uh, the piece that I'm going to be reading today is actually one of our urban adventures. We went antiquing off-season down on Route 1, so that, that's as close as we're getting to urban. Now, is there like an overriding theme that you think people will take away from these stories when they read about Maine and, and from the point of view of being in the woods? I hope so. Uh, you know, we, we have a lot of fun and um, certainly do our share of yucking it up out there, but we actually feel that we're doing an act of preservation when we're writing these pieces and when Marguerite's doing her work. I, you know, I moved back to Maine when I was 30, 20 years ago, and the, the, the change in the landscape and the wilderness, you know, it's, it's changing. We're losing a lot of it. So every time we go out, and we're losing, you know, old places, Pittston Farms up in, you know, on, off the Golden Road, you know, places are closing, and we feel like it's an act of preservation. And so we want to celebrate, but we also consider this an act of preservation. Uh, I see that the cover of it is, a, is an illustration. It's just a beautiful, beautiful painting. Uh, what do you think adds to your, your stories the fact that you have an illustrator rather than a photographer doing this? Your perspective is a little bit different when you're painting. It's a little more romantic sometimes, a little more idealized. Uh, she has a great sense of humor. There's um, pathos in, in the work. I, I mean, I've worked with fabulous photographers, but I think the, the art of, of painting just reads a little differently. 
Now, if people want to learn more about your writing and this book and what you do, what would, is there a website they can go to? Anything else? I have a website, elizabethpv.com. Uh, we're also touring the state. We're going to be at libraries, Auburn, Camden. We're doing a, an event at Thomas Moser in July. So keep your eyes on the media. Um, go to my website as soon as I update it, <laughs> which is now an incentive to do so. But yes, we're, we're, we're going to be out in the next number of months promoting the book. Glorious Going Slow. It sounds like a great title to describe what it's like to be in Maine. It certainly is. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me.